So here's the radiator out of the box. Very nice. Came with a sticker. I also got the um the cap because you have to buy it. Unfortunately, you just have to buy it. Well, I'll be putting this on very soon. Yo, welcome back. Uh, we're gonna be doing this shit today. Putting the coil rat on. Um, today's video is gonna be sponsored by, well, not sponsored, but representing Heel Toe Automotive. I'll put their link and shit. If you have a TSX, you should go check that out. I'll be doing a review, you know. And uh, I've got a new tent. good quality you can tell like it's gonna make a difference in the engine bay and then i think this is where the sensor goes i bought a new one so my old one was shit i need to get the plug i'll show you guys right now let's see though i don't know if this goes with it or... right, so you're gonna take this out and then you're gonna put your new sensor in there. I do recommend you guys get a new one. I mean, you're already there. Might as well do it. So, I'll tighten that right now. Shout out to O'Reilly's and the boys out there. The boys out there, if you guys watch this. Um, you guys are cool ass dudes. You know, I got support. You know, shout out to y'all. Disconnecting the plugs, and uh, we're gonna drain it right now in a little. Get everything ready. We'll skip to that right now. I got the bucket down there. Is she going? It's like nah, nah. All right, we got that one out. Start disconnecting. know what like shroud I should be using because like I did like a ghetto ass like 0405 but like I cut it and shit I just want to get the right one if you guys know which one uh, or if you guys have one laying around and you guys are watching this hit me up or some shit I'll be willing to maybe buy it off you guys help uh, the channel grow and you know just make the car look clean RBC manifold next. Can't wait to get that shit in tune. Oh, this is 
those two. Well, um, what's up, heel tone? Hook it up. Y'all should be hooking up with some discounts straight up. All these people that'd be hooking up. So it's up in the air. I already got it all loose. I just gotta drain it. I like how the CT intake looks when I actually look at it. Because I don't run the little thingies so you can kind of see the my intake right there. That goes up. Little tip when you guys put in the fans back in, there's like these uh, little holes. Let's see if I can zoom in. That hole right there. You gotta put in the second one. Just right, tip. Another tip while you guys are installing this that I ran into is the bottom clamp down there. Uh, yeah, the bottom hose clamp down there may be a little um, different than the actual OEM type. So you might need a clamp. I'm gonna try to see if I can get it on there, but you might need a clamp. I was able to use the stock when it was just a little harder, you know, to do, but I was able to do it. So you don't need to buy another one. Now we're gonna, um, we're gonna bleed the air and put coolant now. So it's been a couple hours now. I drove the car, uh, went to go do some errands, went to go do some stuff for my wife, you know, a couple things. Um, overall, the review would be, um, it is worth it. If you are gonna be daily in the car and it's hot in your area, and for me instance, the fan, my little switch didn't even work. So I was like, might as well just upgrade it. Um, highly recommend uh, heel toe never never fails to satisfy always go through them if you see something you like highly recommend um, I think I paid three three twenty I think for it um, it's good though next will be RBC manifold and maybe dyno or I'll do the um, unorthodox crank pulleys. Um, if you guys like this video, please like and subscribe or leave a comment on what you guys think. It really does help. Thank you guys and come back for the next one.